to the season. Payne's biggest. Uh, it's made a difference having to stand low this season. Um, for sure. Um, I think coming off of uh, the year we had last year and um, installing these plays and the good OTAs, um, communicating better, and I think uh, we're we're moving more as a unit than we ever have before. So uh, I'm excited for what we're going to do this season. What are some of the ways that you and Rashawn complement each other as a linebacker duo? Yeah. Um, being that this will be our fourth year together as a as a duo. Um, we we think very similar, um, react off of, uh, off of each other. Um, it's just it's a lot of nonverbal communication and verbal communication. It's like we uh, got telepathic powers. Like so, uh, it's it's I love playing next to him, and um, and I'm excited for what we're gonna do this season as well. Um, playing with next to Rashawn, he, he makes he makes really good plays, hits hard, and and I'm uh, I'm just glad to be here another year to uh, play with him. What are Shane's biggest strengths as a coach? I would say everything that a coach has as a strength. Um, he's, we trust him. He teaches us in, the, in our uh, defensive unit meetings. He tells us why we run these plays and, and the situations and uh, just inform us so we have a better understanding of, of why he's calling these plays and, and what we're trying to defend. So, um, so he's letting us inside of his head, and, and we got a better understanding. When will you legitimately be able to tell if and how much better you guys are on third down? How better I have the team? Uh, we just got to see at the end of the season um, where we where we at, um, the games we win, and, and how far we go. And you know, we we do all this stuff to try to win a Super Bowl, and anything less is is, is failure. So, and that goes on for any team in the league. If you don't win a Super Bowl, it's not a you know. But um, building off of what we did last year was winning the division for the first time in a long time. Um, just take it game by game, and and just keep getting better offensively and defensively. You've obviously made a lot of plays here. I mean, when you look ahead, what, what's kind of next for, for Jayon Brown in your, at this stage of your career? Uh, just keep on making plays, um, being a playmaker for this team, uh, being a leader for this team. And um, I just want to go out there and enjoy every last game. Getting hurt last season um, wasn't the best. And so uh, I'm very thankful to be playing this game and uh, to be back healed 100% and uh, being out here with my teammates and uh, coming back to this organization to get coached up with these guys and these coaches, and, and I'm excited. You say being a leader, what, what does that mean to you? How is, how is Jay on Brown a leader? Man, I lead by example. Um, you know, we got, we got our Ricky Monty in there, but just all throughout the day, oh, we got KB. Um, that's, a, that's a vocal leader and uh, leads by example as well. And just uh, just be a guy that can be counted on, and and I want my teammates to hold me accountable as well. And it's just nothing personal. We all want the best for each other. We all got the same goals uh, that we want to hit, and just keeping everybody uh, accountable at a high level so we can be the best that we can be. You're not afraid to get after a guy if you think he's slacking or, or making the same mistake a couple times. We all have our own ways of it. I'm not much of a yeller, but uh, you know, there's no need to embarrass anybody, but. Uh, you know, you can just talk to somebody on the side. Everybody has their own little ways of it. Just, just do, I'm not, I don't know the years for sure, but did you compete against Barkley at, when he was at USC? Did you ever pick him or have any memories of games against him? I actually went to, when I was getting recruited to UCLA, uh, so his senior year, um, I was a senior in high school. But uh, I did see him play, and the game that I attended, we won. But know, know all about him. Uh, happy to have him here. He's a... Uh, Really cool dude, and uh, glad to have him. Tell the young guys, you know, in the secondary, whether it's Elijah or whether it's Farley, or, and maybe some of the new dishes, What do you tell those guys to kind of get them up to speed and encourage them? Um, Midge is doing a great job coaching those dudes and getting them up to speed on our playbook. And you know, they got leaders like KB in the in the room and, and Rabbit. So um, letting those guys, you know, stay uh, staying in my lane and my linebacker lane. But uh, when we're out there on the field, you know. Uh, you know, helping guys communicate and and just making sure they're decisive and and trust in, in their process of of what we uh of what our coaches coach. What your impressions been of uh, Monty so far? Monty, um, Monty's been doing really good. Um, he's smart. He's very athletic. That's a big boy. So I see what Georgia <laughs> see what Georgia had somebody special, and I'm um, glad to have him here. Thank Man, you, it's been an honor. It's been an honor. I don't know if it's going to take another five years for me to get up here, but I'll see y'all soon. Oh, man, man. Well, I got it. Well, I got it. 
Shout out to the linebacker room, man. Uh, BJ Locker is right next to mine. He said give him a shout out. So shout out to everybody in the locker room. Shout out to my parents. It's, it's an honor to be up here. It's an honor to be up here. <laughs> Balancing it. 